WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. We're looking at the Dow down 70 at 35,330. This is going to be really important because it closes August as the bar that we're looking at right on the right side column. That's the monthly chart in leg D. D is where you raise your foot off the accelerator, hover over the brake because other things can happen. The technicals are still very good. Uh, the weekly chart, technicals are starting to deteriorate, but they're still good. And the daily chart's got the two patterns that are fighting, the V-shaped pattern and the arch formation. We're going to be following this very closely. When I get to, when I do my Tiger Technician's Hour coming up in a few minutes' time, I'm going to be discussing these monthly charts and what, what to expect if certain things happen, uh, how a new all-time high changes uh, the perspective, at least in the very short term, and how um, if it starts to fail today and c continues in the next two, three days, uh, what the implications are. Let's get to the S&P. The S&P right now, S&P is down. It is down 9 to 45.19. Made an all-time high at 4.5. I believe it's correct. 4.5. Whoops. 4.537.36 yesterday. Um, it's a little bit below. There's an alternate count. I'm going to have to explain that when we get back. And it's a leg D. Remember, leg D, you've got to be careful. Weekly chart, but only a leg B in the monthly. QQQ, NDX 100, trading down 152 at 378.72. All-time high yesterday. Uh, here again, I'm thinking alternate count, even though the technicals are still good. One of the things that can happen, really important, IWM was acting very well. Now it's pulling back a little bit. It's down 35 uh, cents at 225.20, stored at the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. This is going to be important. Cru uh, gold is up five, still stuck in range, but it's in leg C. It could go to a leg D very quickly. Stuck in mag like a magnet at that 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, crude oil is uh, down 72 cents. Also stuck in the lower range, though, not the upper range. And what's really important, and that's something we have to discuss, is that the TLT is right inside the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It's up 20 cents at 150.05. One of the implications, if the TLT rallies or declines, we'll talk about them when I return for the Tiger Technicians out. Also, check out my opening for my daily newsletter. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Hope you can be there. Otherwise, same time, same station. Have a great day.